So we're working on a 2004 Ford Explorer. What, what's, what's your name, Chuck or Al? <laughs> George. No, today it's George. So what are we doing here with test lights and wiring harnesses? We're looking for a short to ground. This thing keeps popping the 26, fuse number 26 for the fuel pump. So. Should I be closing shit here so we don't kill the battery? Uh, no, no, it's only drawing one amp. It won't kill anything. There's the fuel pump. And it's driven by the fuel pump driver module. Let's uh, find that. Right here, fuel pump driver module. So the, fu the fuse that's popping is, uh, let's see here, Going up. fuse number 26, the load side of the fuel pump relay. So this fuse keeps blowing every time you turn the key on because the fuel pump relay closes, so somewhere on this wire there's a short to ground. If we go to our fuel pump driver module, we unplug it, the short goes away. So, okay, we got six wires. Coming in on the white and leaving on the pink and black. You can use an amp clamp to determine that. Leaving on a jet plane. <laughs> now this pink and black wire and the black and orange go directly to our fuel pump right here. And we unplug that. That's a connector right by the fuel tank. Right here, that's unplugged. We still have a direct short to ground only on the pink and black wire. Now, what's the strategy for finding that short to ground? So somewhere between this box all the way through here to the fuel pump. You have to go to OEM wiring diagrams. Here's our box and here's our pink and black wire. Label or write down the connectors in between here and the fuel pump. So C410. Then we have C422, then C4074, then the fuel pump. Okay. C410, C422, C4074. So what I did was I rigged up a test light between the white and the pink and black. The pump, the fuel pump driver module is unplugged. Our test light is lit right now, right Al? It's lit up. So the first connector was up there. We unplugged this connector, C422, the short went away, and with the amp clamp, we can see that the current's actually traveling through this pink and black wire and coming back on a skinny black. What the heck is that skinny black wire? You see, there's one amp right there, right? That's melted. This, I've never seen this before on any harness, but these fuel pump wires are wrapped in a sheath <laughs> that's grounded. It's like a shield. You can see right here. And that's the third wire, is the shield wire. So basically, <laughs> the current's coming in on this pink and black through 422. It's shorted somewhere to the sheath and coming back on the little wire. And right here is the money shot. Where did you wiggle it out to make the test lights flicker? <laughs> it's right here. It's got to be from here yep. that way. Okay. My guess would be right here. So you're going to cut that open and see if we can find where it's melted together. Right there. It, they're going on and off. So this is the best way to find a short to ground is with a test light that you're looking at while you're wiggling, you know, doing the wiggle check. We're, we're almost there. We're basically... Yep, it's, it's just going to be one bad spot in the harness. So we're going to unwrap it and find the culprit. Mike, we're going to short it. Right, oh, right out. there. Oh, the lights went out. Well, yeah, it's and right. There you go back. Yep. It's right. So we right took the here. plastic off, and now we got to. I don't know why. Try not to cut I'm the wires and get this. Well, I see where it is. It looks like it's right there. That's unbelievable. It's all salty and shitty. Wow. Wow. There it is. <laughs> there it is. I don't know how it was touched. Look at that. 
Oh man. So th there must be a break in the insulation now, right? In the pink and black wire. There's got to be. Right there it is. Right there it is. Wow. So right you, there it is. So Lights you, out. So you tell me if you if I pull oh, on that. Holy fuck! Look, look, this is what happens. <laughs> now that's still it's still together. But Unbelievable. It's not touching now. Right, right, See yeah. See what I'm saying? This, this I, I black thought, wire, yeah. that bare wire yeah. was over touch and watch. I'm going to kick your light on. Well, I think it was the, see the strands? See the metal oh, strands? Something, yeah, something. One of those was touching that. Yeah. So touch the metal strands. See these bare, <coughs> bare metal? If you touch it to that, that's crazy. How did that rub a little hole right there? Inside the sheathing. Didn't hurt the sheathing or nothing. Right. How the fuck? <laughs> It's like the insulation <laughs> rotted inside. It, that's what it the was. Corrosion cool. ate the insulation. I mean, that's what I, it looks like, right? This is all salt, right? Salt I and water, guess. and this and is before terrible. Before we put it together, I want a picture of it too to show yeah. Lucas. Yeah, look, look how green this is in there. But I'm saying, with that light out and this separated now, we should yeah. be able to fire. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But we probably want to do something. Yeah, here let's first. let's let's fix it up. Oh, but yeah, take a picture for sure. Yeah, I want to do. It. So this this isn't one of Ford's better ideas. You can Not see. Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. I'll, I'll show this on camera. So we're we're gonna cut this wire, strip it back. Hopefully there's some good copper left, and fix it the right way with some solder and shrink wrap. And then the rest of the harness. I mean, this tape is trapping moisture. You can see the salt and the corrosion all the way through this harness, like just white. <laughs> Just white like crystals of salt. Calcium. Yeah, let, let me taste it. Yep, it's calcium. Whatever it is. Taste it. <laughs> You're a good mechanic. <laughs> Alright, moment of truth. Fuses in, relays in, modules in. Always give it two. Yep. There it is.